In this video, I'm going to show you why Trips Tight End is one of the number one offenses in the game and why I believe that it is the best spread style formation where you can actually spread the defense, have really, really good spacing, and be able to attack both man zone as well as the pressure. Now, if you want to get my entire Trips Tight End offensive ebook, that is going to be linked down in the description. You can get that by joining the Patreon for just 10 bucks. 10 bucks will get you access to all of our Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. So make sure to sign up for the Patreon today. Let's take a look here at Trip Side In and why I think this play, this formation is so powerful. For the last, um, let's see here, for the last while, I want to say five, at least five years, maybe even like the last seven years, this is the predominant formation. If you want to run some type of spread style formation, this is probably the best way to go about it. And the, there's a couple reasons as to why that is the case. Um, one of the reasons is it has really, really good run game. It has inside zone. It has RPO bubble screen. It has, we're in the trips in the Patriots playbook. It has the draw. It has a counter. It literally has kind of a, a, a ton of really good run plays. But another reason why this is really, really powerful is because it has what I call the dominant routes year to year. The num the power, what I call power routes in Madden. These are routes that you need to be successful, right? Um, they're routes that you can't necessarily always hot route. For example, PA Counter Go has a nice crossing route, but also has these two really solid deep out routes that are kind of unique in this formation. It has unique routes is really the point of, of that. It has this wheel route from the inside. Wheel routes are a route every single year. There's some reason why you need to have a wheel route. There's some reason why you need to have a corner route there's some reason you see here look at this play doubles and sell there's some reason why you need to have a corner route there's also a reason as to why you would need a table route to the running back so it just has all of these routes that you don't necessarily have in a formation like doubles y flex now granted you do have a skinny post from the slot receiver but if you look through this you don't have everything that you have from a formation like trips tight in and that is what makes trips tight in a very powerful formation and when you combine that with hot route master um, it can make this formation super super powerful so traditionally in trips tight in really the number one thing you need uh, is some kind of tight end apprentice ideally this year you do need an outside apprentice so hot route master is perfect uh, for for this offense as well. So with that um, in mind, I did want to get on the field and show you uh, one of the best concepts year over year out of trips tied in as well uh, to be able to attack the defense. We're going to show you two different versions of it today. Uh, we're going to use this play drive post, and then we're going to have a hot route play that we can do out of any play. We're going to just choose PA slot corner. All right. So. This concept is good every single year. And the beauty of trip side in is what you can do with motion snapping. You have three receivers over here that you can motion snap. If you wanted to create space, um, and another thing that I really love about trip side in, and, and again, we're talking about like just space and where you can attack on the field. You can motion this running back to the right side, and now you're in a basically a really nice five wide style formation. So you have five wide in this as well as trips. You also can motion the running back to the left side and create kind of a trips quads style formation. Another thing that you can do is you could take this tight end and you can motion him outside and this turns this formation into kind of like a, a wide trips or like a tray open style formation. So with motion, you can create some of the best spread formations in the game, including doubles. When you motion the slot receiver across the formation, you're going to be able to create doubles out of this. And so there's just so much versatility in the formation. But it all hinges on key passing concepts. And this is why I love trip, part of why I love trips tied in. So the key passing concept that we're going to talk about in this video is the slant post concept. We're going to show you two different variations of how to run it. So the first variation is where we want to have the post route coming from the trips formation. So what we're going to do is we're going to put our tight end on a streak. We're going to put our running back on an out route. We're going to take our solo receiver and put him on a vertical clear out route as well. Uh, or not our solo receiver, I apologize, our outside trips receiver. He's going to be on a C route. We're going to slant that number two receiver. This is also technically your slot receiver in the formation. And we're just going to motion him across. So you see here, this just creates a really good slant post concept that is super, super good for attacking man coverage. As you see, that post route is able to cook man over the middle of the field, and then the slant route is also able to cook man over the middle of the field. 
Now, another thing that's really important to look at here with all this is, you know, the timing of everything. I think that is a very underrated thing in Madden is how does everything time out? Um, so if you look here, you have the C route off the snap. That's always a snap read for you. If that, if they play man coverage on the left side, that that they can't do that. And so this forces adjustments right out of the gate. They have to put a outside third to the left side to defend the C route, right? So once as they, you know, as the game goes on and you start to see, oh, they're doing that a lot. Another thing you can do is put a little skinny post on the field and maybe catch them. So you're still in slant post, but now you have a skinny post coming from that side, you know, if they're in an outside third. So there's ways that you can kind of adapt these slant post concepts year over year to make them more effective for the meta. So some years, for example, some years a curl route is a really good clear out route. Some years a streak route is a really good clear out route. Some years a post or a C route or a um, deep out route, right? I don't know what it is for your Madden. In this Madden, it's a C route combined with either a streak or a post. These three routes are the best clear out routes in the game. So those are just things you have to think through Madden to Madden, but the core concept is the slant and the post kind of attacking uh, in the middle of the field. So that's that's the core piece of this. And you see there motion slants. Motion slants have been one of the best ways to attack main coverage for as long as I can, I've can. i been playing Madden. Um, this has been a core thing every single year. And so, again, you want to find concepts that you can apply year over year. I think that's really, really important. So, um, you know, against man coverage, maybe you want to have that tight end corner. But uh, you see here the main thing is motion snapping that slant, letting them run across. He almost always gets that separation right there where you can freeform down and inside. Now, we'll show you another slant post concept. We'll talk a little bit more about zone coverage on this next one. Um, the beauty of trip side in is it, it, what I love about it is you can run it both directions. So um, we can do this out of any play. We're going to use play action. It has a ton of good play action plays. We're going to do it out of PA slot corner. So how we're going to run this is we're going to post route our tight end. If you don't have tight end apprentice, put them on a smart routed in route and it'll be fine. Okay. Post route the tight end. We're going to now put that post out there so you see how this is going to counter our first setup. And then what I like to do, and you, you've got some versatility in terms of how you want to do this, um, is to take this left side receiver, Christian Kirk, and we're going to put him on a whip. And then we're going to um, slant Julian Edelman, kind of isolate that side of the field. So what you're going to see here is that slant is typically going to cook man, and then you also have that post route coming over the middle of the field. Now, this is also a really, really good zone beating concept. I'm going to jump in cover four here because what we have is essentially we have created a high low on at least one of, if not both of the sides. So in this example, it's a high low on the left side. Um, you could take the back and put into the flat if you wanted to. But what you'll see is oftentimes these zones will suck inside this year, and you can throw that slant even against a quarter flat uh, to that side. So the, it, it really does limit what they can do defensively in terms of how they can guard it. A lot of times they're going to have to choose, am I going to guard the slant or am I going to guard the post? You'll see here, here's cover three. Again, you see how that gets over the, cur the curl flat, and you can throw it kind of in a soft spot against the zone coverage. And then if they run something like a cover two style of play, the beauty of the spacing of trips is the fact that you have this, um, you have really two things here, um, but this, this skinny post is really good against Tampa too. So what you'll see here is that deep half will get sucked down by the slant and then you have the skinny post running over the top. So again, you can create this concept a lot of different ways and I think that you should create this concept a lot of different ways, okay? Um, let me give you one last example of a, of a slant post style of concept. One of my favorites, uh, we're going to post Julian Edelman, we're gonna drag right or tight end, we're gonna motion um, Michael Irvin across, and then on the left side here, you could either have already put him on a corner route, or if you have Hot Route Master, you can do something like this. And now you've created basically the same concept. It's just going in different directions, and that's part of the beauty of trips 
is it has so much versatility with motions and it has so much versatility with the actual routes they give you. I want to thank you for watching the video. And if you want to get better at Madden and learn my entire trips tied in offensive ebook, make sure you join the Patreon. You don't only just get the trips tied in, you get over 25 different offensive and defensive ebooks by being a member, as well as any new stuff that we release, any new ebooks, or any new updates to our existing guides. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to sign up for the Patreon, head down to the description and click the link down below.